Sanambra State Governor Willie Obiano has pledged to support families and dependents of slain police officers who died in active service in the state this year. In a quiet ceremony at the Governor's Lodge in Mobia, the Governor praised the gallantry of the fallen officers and assures their widows and children of the state's commitment to their welfare. Each family represented one million naira to help stabilize them temporarily. Widows, children and family members of the five police officers and one officer of the Department of State Security Services who lost their lives in the line of duty. They are here at the Governor's Lodge in Oka on the invitation of the Anambra State Governor, Willy Obiano. He believes it is necessary to assist the families of the late officers. Just want to appreciate and uh, let us know by uh, giving yourselves uh, some token. Uh, one million each family. There are still one more police officer who is in the hospital. We are going to take uh, care of his medical bills 100%. One after the other, he hands the tokens to the widows and their families. A gesture the Commissioner of Police is pleased with. We hope it was in heart. But you have not lost the hope that we will remember you. On behalf of the family, we thank you and we pray God will reward you in his own way and he has a special way of the widows also and relatives of the deceased officers expressed their gratitude to the governor for his support. We never expect this from you before. But I pray that the Almighty God will give you this heart to look into our situation, will guide you and protect you and give you long life in Jesus' name. Governor Obiano is promising to continue the gesture with assurances that measures will be adopted in protecting the lives of the police and other security operatives in the state. The Nigerian army says it will continue to work towards improving civil-military relations in line with democratic principles that will help to ensure the peace and development of the country. The Commander 4 Brigade Nigerian Army Brigadier General Ibrahim Garba, after flagging off a sanitation exercise by officers of his brigade in Benin City, Edo State Capital. This was on the occasion of the 2017 Nigerian Army Day celebration. Men of the Nigerian Army Headquarters 4 Brigade Benin City holding different cleaning implements, marching as the head for the cleanup of Uselu and Boa communities in Benin City, the Edo State capital. The cleanup exercise is part of activities lined up for the 2017 Nigerian Army Day celebrations. On reaching their destination, the group awaits the brigade commander, Brigadier General Ibrahim Garba. He arrives the venue and officially flags off the exercise. Speaking to journalists after the flag off, Brigadier General Garba said the gesture was part of ways of improving civil military relations in the state. We keep the environment healthy and so doing we are imparting the same culture to our men so that they know that they too they need to keep the environment very healthy and the same thing that give us the idea of doing the medical outreach. This is a military civil relationship that we've been talking about so that the more we come out, the more we work for the community, the better understanding we have between us and the community, so that all these rancors that normally happens here and there will be minimized. The Nigerian Army celebration is an annual event to commemorate and appreciate officers, both the departed and serving, for their contributions towards the unity of the country.
And staying with the military, the flag of officer commanding Eastern Naval Command, Rear Admiral Victor Adedikbe, has assured Nigerians of safety of the nation's assets in view of their economic benefits. He gave the assurance after assuming operational command from his predecessor, Rear Admiral James Uluwole, who has been moved to the naval headquarters. And from what we have seen, some of these suggestions are just from some people who feel they have some, they just want to express themselves. But that expression, like we have read, even from the political level, is being handled, and I think um, Nigeria cannot break. I can assure you that uh, coming on board, uh, one is coming on board uh, with uh, very fresh energy, renewed vigor to hard value to what uh, my uh, predecessor has done in furtherance of uh, the strategic directive of the chief of the naval staff. That's ensuring that uh, peace is uh, further sustained within the area.